Okay guys, this is my uh, Hypercube Evo. I just uh, finished assembling uh, the X and Y axis. Um, just a quick note, uh, you'll want to be careful when assembling uh, this machine. Um, it is plastic and uh, metal, so those printed parts are not always, I mean they can't be precise to the, the, the thou of an inch. Uh, so when mounting this, um, before tightening your screws, you need to make sure that you have a smooth motion. Uh, there was a, I spent almost two days uh, shifting, shifting this guy left, the other guy left also, sometimes right, and there's a an order of uh, tightening that you need to respect. So make sure that when you install your cap over here for the uh, the carriage on the uh, the, uh, the y-axis make sure that when you tighten these screws they tighten evenly over there and that you're not pulling the uh, brass inserts okay so don't tight too much just make sure that the bearings are tight and cannot rotate after that once both caps are are, are um, tightened what you need to do is then you can tighten your 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 uh, your shaft. You may want to check if everything moves smoothly before tightening, uh, securing the um, the X shafts. Uh, sometimes playing with them a bit to the uh, to each way outside and inboard um, will will make things uh, smooth and glide uh, better. So always make sure that everything is square that you uh, you touch having equal dis distance on the, the bearings, you touch both axes at the same time. So, well, uh, this is my uh, lessons learned from, uh, from uh, my first build. Uh, have to be careful, do not hesitate to remove parts, reinstall them, repeat, adjust, measure, uh, also with the uh, a square making sure that everything is uh, straight and as it needs to be because there's a big difference on how well it's going to slide even though I have Chinese bearings and and um, some some rods that I suspect are not that high end either so good luck <laughs>